Thanks for clicking on the video. And if you're feeling cold during this Christmas season, then without a doubt, drink a stout. And with that, bar is open. So let's review the Royal Stout. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be looking at a Royal Stout. But this review is done on a rainy day today, so you might hear some background noise of thunder rumbling. Bear with me. Or not, it's up to you. But I'm doing this uh, review because I was getting my groceries and when I was queuing up at the checkout counter, this was very reasonably priced uh, and just sitting there waiting for me to pick it up. Uh, and when I say reasonably priced, I mean it for a stout because I managed to get a six pack of this at around 17 Singapore dollars. That makes each can 280 Singapore dollars. For that, you get a 320 ml can with a 5.5% alcohol content. And the Royal Stout is a premium Danish stout brewed using three different finest types of malt. Every sip of this delightful full-bodied stout provides the ultimate satisfaction that comes with a fine characteristic of rich roasted coffee and caramel taste. So it's not too bad, right? A stout that's supposed to taste like coffee and caramel. This is brewed in Malaysia by the Carlsberg Brewery Malaysia Barat. And I'll be reviewing stouts the same way I review beers, meaning I'll go through how the stout looks, smells, and tastes. And I'll try to pour this the way a Guinness is poured. Of course, it's not a Guinness glass, but I'll try to pour it the same way, meaning, you know, I'll pour it gently down the side, and when it's almost three-quarter done, you gently tilt it back up and finish. And immediately, you can see the difference. Unlike a Guinness, this one doesn't have any foam uh, or any of the creamy foam coming out uh, from the inside. It just poured out as if it was a beer, meaning I am regretting the way I poured this already. I should have poured this like a normal beer where I let the foam really appear in the glass because right now, I'm very sure the foam's going to form up in my stomach. Uh, also, even though I poured it that gently, a bit of foam appeared and then disappeared almost immediately. That kind of tells me that it might not be as full-bodied as it claims to be, but we'll see during the taste test. And scent-wise, it does have that roasted malt scent. Um, I don't detect the coffee or caramel, but maybe that could be in the taste test. So let's find out right now. Now, truth be told, at this price, this is actually pretty decent. Because when I took my first sip, um, it does have very rich, you know, that roasted malt, that rich flavor just engulfing my tongue. Fantastic taste. It did feel very one-dimensional uh, in the sense that while it had that taste, there's really not much at the back. So, you know, it became a bit bland towards the back. So it's not as full-bodied as it claims to be. It's just very rich as it comes into the mouth. However, when that settles and you, you breathe up through your nose, you can taste a lot of coffee. Um, so they're not wrong in that. There's some coffee flavor, you know, lingering in my mouth. Uh, there is a certain sweetness to it. I can't really say it's very caramel-ish. Could also be the coffee masking my, my taste buds a little bit. But there is a sweetness to that coffee. So think of black coffee with sugar. So while it might not be full-bodied as a stout, uh, it does come across as a couple of layers in the sense that it started out with that roasted malt of a stout, you know, coming into my tongue. When that goes away and then a coffee flavour comes out, a sweetened coffee flavour comes out, you know, to, to finish it off, to wrap things up. And that's actually a very enjoyable experience for just 280 Singapore dollars per can. So if you're in need of a, a stronger stout, but you don't really want to splurge on a, the, the smoothness that the Guinness can give you, then the Royal Stout will be my pick 
above the ABC stout or even the, the Guinness Foreign Extra. Hands down, this is one of the best budget stouts I have come across. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are my personal opinions and my personal taste preferences. They're not to be used as an industry standard. But if you've tried the Royal Stout, and I just noticed the can says the King of Stouts, uh, drop me some comments, let me know what you think about it. If you're still here, also click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, because I upload two new videos every week. Most importantly, my friend, happy drinking.